No, I lived in Alaska. Didn't think I would come back as fast as I did. Sometimes it breaks me out. This video is not sponsored, but I just wanted to mention this because it's dope. So today we're going to be actually I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys sent in to my snapchat yesterday I asked you guys to go ahead and just DM me some questions um, I haven't done a QA and a in a long 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 time But I used to do them like every month and I really like doing that because it kind of kept you guys kind of updated on my live But I stopped doing that and I have no idea why but I really want to get back to that This is going to be the first of hopefully many to come in the future I just love conversating with you guys and this is gonna be just a chill video. I'm gonna be answering some questions. So if you guys are interested in hearing some of these questions, Did just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I screenshotted all of them. The first question that I got asked, and I swear if this isn't my most asked question on my channel, is how do you stay so skinny? I don't necessarily get that question all the time, but I always get the how do you stay so small? How do you stay so fit? How are you so skinny? What's your secret? ETC, ETC, ETC. So to answer that question, I will be making a complete video on my diet, my exercise, and kind of just my lifestyle. But that will definitely be a separate video. Well, I will go in depth. It's so shocking to me that people, like, I don't really think I'm that small, to be completely honest with you guys. But then again, I don't see myself. Like, I see myself every day. I guess, I don't know. I don't know how strangers see me. I will do a complete video on that. And I know a lot of you guys want to know how I lost all my baby weight and how I didn't get stretch marks and all that stuff. That's going to be a completely separate video as well because there are definitely different methods. And your questions are definitely going to be answered. But another video but thank you for asking this question and thank you for the compliment it's so sweet okay another question that was asked what do you do to make your hair grow so fast and when am i doing more food videos food and drinks are going to keep on coming i promise you guys i'm not stopping food and drinks but food and drinks definitely take a lot more time a lot more effort and my life has just been so hectic these past few months since summer i've just kind of hit the ground running with a lot of other projects and a lot of other things have gotten in the way but they will definitely be coming those are definitely going to be way more sporadic i definitely don't have a lifestyle yet where I can make a routine and film those that doesn't mean they're gonna stop and I'm still gonna keep doing them so just keep an eye out for them and what was the other question actually I forgot oh what do I do to make my hair grow so fast honestly guys that is a good question I am kind of assembling a hair care routine as well how I take care of my hair how it's grown so fast all that kind of stuff that will also be a separate video in its entirety but one thing I can tell you right now is avoid sulfates do that Next question is by lovely Melissa. Oh, the last question actually was from Angelica. And then lovely Melissa asks, what made you decide to start a YouTube? Okay, I've answered this question. I believe I've answered this question before. But honestly, you guys, when I started my channel, I lived in Alaska. And I was very lonely in Alaska. I didn't have any family up there. I moved to Alaska right after I got married. And I didn't have any family up there. I didn't have any friends. And makeup was always something that I was very intimidated with because it was very very taboo when I was younger to wear makeup or even think about wearing makeup but it was always something that intrigued me and drew me into it and once I was you know kind of more independent and I was definitely bored in Alaska I think you know I saw how people made videos and video work completely intrigued me in the most passionate way I love editing and filming and just all of that just all that honestly speaks to me so I wanted to do something that was challenging so that I wouldn't be bored and that was makeup mixed with something that I loved which is video work filming editing all that stuff the two completely meshed together and I have been in love with it ever since I love what I do on YouTube I love I genuinely love connecting with people and I genuinely love building relationships with people and that's also something that YouTube has provided me I always was weary of starting even though in the back of my mind I definitely have always wanted to start a YouTube channel but I was just afraid and now I'm here and I hope that answers your question. I know I kind of went on this spiel. What made me come back after deciding I was going to take a break? When I took a break, I definitely needed it. There's a lot of stuff hit me in my personal life. And even though a lot of stuff in my personal life still isn't 100%, it's still not 
fixed. I didn't want to lose something that made me 100% happy because YouTube brings me so much joy. Even though it did help and I know that it was good for my soul, I definitely missed filming. I missed editing. I missed that connection. I missed reading your comments. I missed all of that. I told myself that I didn't want to completely, you know, give up. And then I told myself, well, when you, you can come back, but just don't come back, you know, and really feel that pressure because once you start feeling that pressure, you start to lose love for what you do and it really starts to feel like a job and even though you know YouTube is you know one of my jobs I didn't want it to feel like a job and so I told myself I was gonna come back but I was gonna you know take it easy and you know just kind of let it flow and since I've come back I've been filming constantly and I've just fallen even more in love with it and definitely learned on like during my break that I just have to learn to balance things out in my life better figure out my sweet spots you know what I mean and I didn't want to let that affect my YouTube life because my YouTube life is amazing and I just missed it and I'm happy I'm back. I hope that answers your question too. I feel like I'm just rambling but um, what is makeup to me? Next question is what is makeup to me and what kind of role does it play in your life? Makeup to me is in one word fun and, and another word joy and another word art and I am all about all three of those things and I think makeup as cosmetic as external as it is it has such a big impact on you know yourself like internally it has a big impact and I think it holds such a power it can honestly take you from you know feeling sad and it could definitely lift you back up because if I'm having a bad day I actually really enjoy the process of doing my makeup it relaxes me it brings me joy it, it just does so much for me and I really don't like it when people say it's a false joy because you wash it off at the end of the day but I really love this sweater and it brings me joy to put it on and even though I'm gonna take it off at the end of the day the point is it brought me joy you know it brought me happiness and that's not something to ever 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 complain about even if it was temporary it's still a joy it's still happiness and even if it's external it's still a joy it's still happiness I just love makeup and I think it's fun I definitely don't think it's a necessity gun to my head if somebody was like I will shoot you if you ever wear makeup again I will I'll probably stop wearing makeup it's definitely not something that's necessary neither is music neither is film but if they bring you joy and they bring they impact your life in a positive way I just don't see how you know they hurt it's just joy for me and it's happiness for me and it's fun for me and I just think it's just another art form of art and I totally respect it and I love it sometimes it breaks me out but Oh well, you can get past that. Okay, next question. This is a question that I have been asked so many times before and the last time I did a QA, and a I was asked this question but I completely lost the footage where I answered this question because I remember I was using two memory cards and I completely lost one of the memory cards. But how did I decide Autumn's name? Okay, so originally I wanted to name Autumn Otoni, which is what I still call her to this day, which is what my entire family calls her, which is what she actually responds to better. She really doesn't actually respond to Autumn and Autumn is like her legal birth certificate name. It's not Otoño, it's Autumn. The reason I wanted to name her Autumn or Otoño is because I've always loved the fall time. Even though I live in California, I live in Northern California and it actually does get pretty fall here. The leaves do turn red, there's oranges, there's yellows, and there's just, there's crisp in the air and it does feel like fall here. It's definitely not an East Coast fall, but I've always loved the fall and we do get a hint of that here. And when I was younger, my mom used to always watch this novela and it was called Piel de Otoño. All my old school girls will remember this novela. If your mom's watched it, if you watched it, please like this video and leave a comment down below. I think it came out when I was like seven or six years old. And I remember the theme song of it had like golden leaves falling, like the theme of like all the video had like leaves falling in it. And I remember asking my mom, what does Otoño mean? I remember seeing just like the O and the other O and then the N, you know, the little Ñ. And I just was so drawn to that word. And she was like, Otoño means autumn, the season. And I was like, no way. Ever since she told me that, I knew I wanted to name my daughter Otoño because I love the season and I was just so drawn to that name. And you hear autumn here in the United States all the time. Like every other girl is named autumn. One of the reasons I didn't want to legally name her autumn, but you never hear Otoño in Spanish. And in Spanish, men have that name too, which I love those like unisex names. I just think they're so, so dope. I wanted 
to legally name her Otoño. Well, her dad is white. He can't say Otoño. Or he couldn't because now he can. He couldn't say Otoño and he was just like, I don't think it's fair that I can't say my own daughter's name and when I say it, I sound super stupid. So can we please legally name her Autumn and I won't butcher her name, you know, the schools won't butcher her name, but you know, you and your family and everybody who wants to call her Otoño can call her that because it literally translate, it translates directly into Autumn, Otoño, Autumn, Otoño. It's the same exact thing. So I reluctantly accepted and Eliana is just a name that I loved and I thought it was gorgeous. It flowed really well, Autumn Eliana, Otoño Eliana. And that's why I named her. That's the story of her name. I will say, if she ever wants to legally change her name to Otoño, I will do that shit in a heartbeat. Hopefully I don't lose this freaking chip. What is my normal daily routine? I wake up, I have a lot of tea, I, I work. All my days seriously either consist of filming or editing. That's a for sure. I read. I watch a lot of Netflix. I'm embarrassed almost to admit how much I watch Netflix. If you guys want like a daily routine video, I'd be happy to film that for you guys. If you guys want me to vlog, I'd be happy to do that for you guys. Um, but I don't really have like a daily routine I could like tell you it just kind of happened. My favorite makeup line. This is super freaking hard. I don't think I have a favorite makeup line because there's just so many products that I like in different brands. Like, like for example, my favorite mascara ever is from a brand called Dose. My favorite liquid lipsticks are from Ofra. So you know what I mean? Like I can't really pick a specific makeup line that I love. I will say though, I really, 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 really do love Maybelline and I really do like Benefit. So that's the best I could give you right now. But all right, guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. I will try my hardest to do these more often. Send in your questions whenever you like. I will just screenshot them and save them. Or you guys can ask me questions down below in the comment section. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was long and I was just blabbering the entire time. I think that's what these videos are for, right? It's to talk and blabber and really conversate. Isn't my sweater just the coolest thing on the planet? I know it's what you've been staring at this entire time. I got it off Amazon, so I had to get this bitch.